Hello everyone, and welcome to this overview video in which we are going to take a look at our new library series called Riffendium. This one here is Volume 1, and it is a collection of electric guitar loops in different styles. Volume 1 is not focused on one particular theme, but it gives a taste of different vibes. What makes this library series unique is the ability to play the loops in different major and minor keys as the loops were recorded in all the available frets positions for each particular loop. So Refendiums does not transpose loops. Also the loops were sliced in a slightly different way than usual. And since Refendium uses round robins, each time a loop is repeated, it does not sound exactly the same at each cycle, as the round robins work at a slice level. On top of that, you can reorder the slices and build your own loops using what we call articulations the actual single slices. And the result is often something totally different from the original loop. And lastly, loops can be randomized. So many new versions of a loop can be achieved with a click of a mouse. So let's have a closer look at Refendium. We offer two versions of Refendium, the main instrument and the DI version. The main instrument includes ready-made guitar sounds as the recordings were made straight out of the guitar amplifier's output. Refendium also offers a few guitar cabinets emulations that change the overall sound slightly. You can also bypass the cabinets and use your own convolution plugin of choice with your favorite speaker's impulse responses. Refendium DI instead offer loops that are recorded straight from the guitar output through a DI box, so you can use your favorite amp simulator like Guitar Rig or Amplitude. Let's focus on the main instrument for a moment. Refendium comes with 100 snapshots presets divided in three folders, amped guitars, affected and experimental. Once I load the snapshot, I need to play one of those colored keys according to the type of chord I require. This info box tells me this loop is mapped in major and minor keys. And as I press those keys, this info line here tells me which one is which. Now I can play the white keys to trigger the loops and the color keys to play the correct notes. Let's listen to some snapshots. As you can see, this instrument offers traditional sounds, but also the possibility to create outwardly sounds. Refendium has a browser that helps to choose out of the 44 available loop presets. A loop preset is a factory guitar sound and its related sequence of articulations used in that specific guitar performance. In most cases, the offered articulations are more than the one used in that specific loop, so there is even more room for creating your unique loops. You can filter the loops by type of guitar sound, the type of rhythm, and whether chords, power chords or single notes were used in the loop. When you choose a loop preset, Refendium loads the corresponding cabinet emulation, unless this button, the match cab switch, is not active. By clicking on the Edit Sequence button, we can check the actual articulation sequence. In this sequence, 12 articulations are used. Each articulation has a menu. Here you can see all the available articulations. Each item in the list shows also a duration in 16 notes. So the first one is 2 16 notes, this one is 4 16 notes, and so on. We can simply change each articulation for another one of the same duration, or a different duration. When we do so, then the total length of the sequence will change. But no worries, Refendium has tools to fix this. 
We can in fact add or remove articulations with this value added here. We can insert silent notes, then replace them with the desired articulation. We can delete articulations, or even make all following articulations like the one selected. Or even editing the actual slice length, like so. But the fun part is the randomization feature. First I'm gonna set the total number of 16 notes I want to have in my sequence, like so. Then, when clicking on these dice, Refendium will offer me a randomized sequence. I can always go and edit what I don't like. When we got a sequence that we like, it's ready to be played and it will be saved when you save your snapshot. There are two main sequence parts. If I press C1, I will trigger part A. If I press D1, I will trigger part B. If you need to save more sequences, you can build them and then save them in these 8 memory slots and then recall them by these 8 violet key switches. And then you can trigger them anytime you need to, to create many variations of the performance for different sections of your music. Refendium has also a double tracking feature, this is not a simulation. It is a different set of samples that are triggered at the same time, so the variations in the performances give the real double tracking sound. Refendium has also an effect pedal chain with four distortions pedals, four modulation pedals, EQ, delay and reverb, both convolution and algorithmic. There is also a widener effect for when we use only the main guitar. These effect pedals are also available for the double track guitar, so we can change its sound to make it really different from the main guitar. Refendium offers also step effects, volume and filter, and stutter repeater effects. These effects add a lot to the sound to help you to create unusual guitar sounds and much more than that. Refendium includes also Convolver. If you know Vesper and the whole randomizer series by Audiofire, you'll know what that does and the way it can change the sound from a subtle color to a total mangly from outer space. So this is it for this overview. There will be a lot more in other videos which will talk more in details and explore other available features. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.